Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Model Car Guy Rich. Appreciate you stopping by. Today I'm uh, doing a full build on the US Tank M41 Walker Bulldog. It's my first military kit that I'm building and it's a uh, tank in 135 scale from the Tamiya Company. Today I'm doing just a uh, full blown uh, build, no paint. Just some glue and some trim work and we'll see where it takes us. I appreciate you all stopping by. I'm going to go ahead and put some music to this now and you sit back and relax and enjoy. And I'll uh, come back in in a minute and give you a little heads up on a couple little issues I found with the kit. Nothing major, but just something to be aware of if you're a, a new builder or even an experienced builder. All right, thank you. Alright folks, so what I wanted to explain to you is the instructions, although they didn't have any words, it was all pictures, um, for the most part, I mean there was some verbiage along the, the side, but these wheels, um, what they don't explain to you is that 
these end pieces right here that I'm pointing to right now are smaller than the rest of the wheels, but yet they're all uh, listed with the same part number. So you kind of have to have all 12 of them laid out on the table in front of you and you got to kind of search for the two that are a little bit smaller and those are the ones that go in the end spot there. Other than that, the, uh, the kit went together fairly easy. Uh, no hiccups. Um, like I said, it, it can be built by just about anybody, but I wouldn't recommend it as a first model kit for people because it, it still takes some uh, focus and concentration to get a few things right. Where to put glue, where not to put uh, glue, that kind of thing. But uh, all in all, I had a great time building it. I'm uh, happy it's complete. Uh, these were a little bit of a bugger to, to put on, but you'll figure it out. The instructions tell you how to uh, mend the two ends together so that they stay together. Um, the hardest part I, I had here was just stretching it over the wheels to get it to fit. I was uh, a little hesitant because I didn't want to snap anything, but the, uh, the plastic itself seemed to hold up pretty well. And uh, the track went on real easy, as did the other side once uh, once that was completed. Here you see both of them on there, and they roll real nice. So that's about all I got. Go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video. I'm gonna go take a break now and uh, prepare for the next video. And I hope you guys have a great day. I appreciate you stopping by. Please like, share, comment, and uh, subscribe if you could. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.